Yo, Cub fans, we are back, and Jordan Wicks makes his MLB debut and gets his first dub in the major leagues and also gets the Cubs a win. We're going to get into that right after this. All right, so Jordan Wicks makes his MLB debut and, wow, what an amazing performance. Honestly, I would have never expected this from him. You know, he gave up that first home run to keep Brian Hayes, and I was like, oh, man, here we go. And I was kind of worried after that first home run. But I think the Cubs have just found the guy that they need to fill in that starting role for the Cubs. They have, We need one more. At the, we need a fifth guy. And I think Jordan Wicks just earned that spot. Jordan Wicks was on the bump, and he pitched amazing. I mean, he made history in the Cubs organization. He had pitched five innings, two hits, one ERA, one walk, and nine Ks. I think, I believe, it is the first uh, MLB de debut by Cubs pitcher to get nine or more Ks in a game in their MLB debut since, like, 19-something. So it's been a while. And he got his number called, and he did not back down. He pitched absolutely amazing this game. And I think he deserved that starting spot. I think he can definitely fit that role in that starting spot. And I think he's kind of showed us that he deserves it. But the bats were absolutely rolling. And it was actually a really good game. But <clears throat> after Wick pitched his five innings, Wesneski then came in. And he didn't have the best of the day. A very good day. We usually see Wesneski do pretty good. We haven't seen him do bad in a while. He's been on a little bit of a hot streak. But he had one inning, four hits, and a five ERA. So he gave up five earned runs. So it, was really, it wasn't really his day. And, you know, David Ross shows the wrong closer. But Leiter Jr. and Palencia came in and did very well. And then you already know, Adver Alzulai came in. And he got his 21st save this year. So I'm thinking the bullpen is a little fatigued. And it's kind of a little scary. But they did their thing, and they got out of it, and they got the win. We won 10 to 6. 10 hits, 10 runs. Way to stay even. But moving on from the hitting, or moving on to the hitting part of the game, we absolutely crushed the ball. I mean, there weren't any, there weren't any home run balls. They were all just balls of plays, singles, doubles, triples. Saya had a huge triple. And... I think Mitch Peller, not Peller, Mitch Keller was just kind of a eye opener, and he was their best pitcher, so we kind of expected it to be a bit of a harder game. But he was just one of their better pitches, pitchers, and he kind of showed us why he's their better pitcher, and we we lost that game. But the Cubs should grab a lot of momentum coming out of this game and really pick up, pick it up. After this game, they should win t today, and then go on and win and beat the Reds and the Brewers. We need to beat the Reds and the Brewers because one, the Brewers are behind us by a game. Two, the Brewers are in front of us by four games. So the Brewers are absolutely on a hot streak. And honestly, I would have never thought I would say that right now. They beat the Rangers. I mean, they didn't do good about against the Dodgers. They got swept by the Dodgers, but they beat the Rangers. We all thought that they would get swept by the Rangers but they proved us wrong so and they keep winning games and we would have expected them to at least lose one of these games against San Diego but they haven't yet so hopefully they can lose today but Seiya swung the bat very well and he's the biggest guy we need to get going Cody Bellinger has started to kind of slow down a little bit which is expected you can't say on that like high of a hot streak for two months and Danny Swanson he's been striking out a lot he's been trying to hit but his OPS is up a lot but he's been striking out a lot he's been swinging it a, a lot and missing but when he hits the ball it's hit hard but I think going into the, today's game Assad is pitching I think we can do very well especially with Assad on the bump he had a good outing against the Pirates last time he pitched but Patrick Wisdom is back in the lineup against the Pirates today, and I don't know what David Ross is thinking. I don't even care, like, what the matchup is. 
Pants of Wisdom should not be playing. But that is just my thoughts. So, let me know what you thought about yesterday's game. And I get about the rookie, Jordan Wicks, pitching. And pitching an absolute gem. And then let me know what you guys think about today's game. With Javier Saad on the bum. And David Ross's choice to put Patrick Wisdom in the lineup. But that is going to be all for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that sub button for more Bulls and Cubs content. See you, Blue. Peace.